hi thanks for checking out my video this is just another one of my hair care videos for minimalist organic and inexpensive long hair care continuing my experiment to see how long my hair will grow with making my own hair wash and conditioner which I made a previous video about and not using any products on it other than some oil and so this is just um, kind of a fun experiment I'm doing on the side to see how long it will grow and so I'm just sharing that in case that's interesting to someone else it seems kind of silly to make videos <laughs> about it but sometimes it's just fun to do something like that and see how successful this experiment is so in this video I'm just going to show how I cut my own hair at home I've been cutting it for several years now uh, by myself and so that's another way to save money and have minimalist long hair care the haircut is really easy but it's only for keeping hair all one length which is what I'm doing so that may or may not be relevant to you but if you want to just cut your hair one length or give it a trim it's really easy and it actually comes out even so that's a good thing and also I'll just be showing a couple other uh, little updates about my hair care routine and what I'm doing so for whatever it's worth I'll just be sharing that so I hope you find something useful or just if nothing else uh, to see if this works and if it, it doesn't and makes my hair fall out or something at least then you'll know what not to do but I've actually been using this homemade hair wash and conditioner and basic hair care program for well over a year now and it has actually helped my hair thicken up where I had um, some thinning here and I wasn't making YouTube videos back then but I do have a little clip of a video that I made showing my brother how to tie a scarf and you can kind of see where it's thin here so I'll put that clip in this video actually helped with hair loss so it's it's been good for my hair so far it seems like with a lot of the commercial hair care and skincare products they're designed to make you keep needing more and more products to correct more and more problems so I'm just kind of learning as I go along with doing a really basic hair care routine and organic plastic free like I mentioned before
since I started making my homemade hair wash and conditioner. I've been using marshmallow root powder for the conditioner, but this time when I ran out of it, I decided to try slippery elm bark powder. I've been using this instead of the marshmallow, and it also works really well for detangling. I just mix this the same way as I showed in my other videos with the marshmallow, except to use this instead. And like I said, it's good detangling, and I read up about it, and it's supposed to be good for the hair as well. In my opinion, for my hair type, they both work well, so I might rotate back and forth. But I'm kind of liking the Slippery Elm more. It seems to detangle my hair better now that it's getting longer. So I'll stick with it for a while. That's another thing I like about making the homemade hair wash is that I can rotate the ingredients around or try something new in the mix whenever I want and see how it works for my hair. Even though I'm keeping the same basic recipe when I run out of one ingredient, if I want to try something different, like I've done with the slippery elm and the red rose powder, then I can use that um, for a while and see how I like it. So I like having that flexibility too, to be able to try different ingredients. It seems to be good for the hair and skin to rotate things around a little bit. 